If you're looking to take a trip this fall, there are some beautiful spots that aren't too far away. Travel expert Janine Tornator is here with her top Midwest spots you need to visit. Thank you so much for being here. Great to be here. Great to finally be back in the studio. Yeah, so we're fun. talking about how nice it is to oh, be dressing up again. Like adults. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think when people plan trips, they don't think about the Midwest because we're already here. Right, and I think when people think fall travel, it's that quintessential, you know, in the Northeast. But really, we are situated in one of the best places in the country, I think, for some really great fall scenic destinations. And you're right, because we live here, yeah. you don't necessarily think about them. Right, right. but these you can take in a car, and your first spot is an area I'm very familiar with. I used to work in Grand Rapids in oh, Michigan. There you go. Yeah, so Michigan, you know, I think a lot of people head to Michigan in the summer, but really, Michigan, if you haven't been there in the fall, you are missing out. I think fall is one of the yeah. most beautiful seasons to I visit so and there's so many different parts of the state to visit so Grand Rapids is a great one because you're only 25 minutes from Lake Michigan they actually call themselves Beer City USA so oh. there's a lot of great like outdoor patios check out like the microbreweries mm -hmm. there's also a lot of great cider mills around the area there's the centuries old wells orchard on Sundays they give wagon rides that's the type of fun thing to do in the fall mm -hmm. um, but outside of Grand Rapids too you also have the Great Lakes Bay region which I don't think is on a lot of people's radar no. but it really should be you mm -hmm. have places like Sag Saginaw, Bay City, Midland in this area. You also have the Whiting Forest of Dow Gardens, which has the largest accessible canopy tour in the country. Wow. And the best color on the trees best color on the trees by far. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, you also have places like Bay City, which has Mich mm -hmm. Michigan's largest antique store, uh -huh. and Frankenmuth, which is known for its Bavarian mm -hmm. heritage. Great area for families, because some of these places have their lodging has indoor water parks, so really nice one in the fall for a weekend getaway. Mm -hmm. And then I'd also point out in Michigan, too, not to overlook somewhere like the Detroit Ann Arbor area. It's football season. Right. There's <laughs> so many great kind of outdoor social districts in this area. A lot of great chef-driven restaurants. And just in August, in Detroit, they open the new Outdoor Garden, which is part of Belle Isle State Park. Beautiful scenery. I mean, you have Detroit, you have Windsor, you know, you have these beautiful backdrops. Yeah. Yeah. Um, great Windsor place to take in the fall colors. Absolutely great. I used to love going down there. You go right across the bridge and you look back at Detroit. That's not as pretty of a picture as yeah. when you're in Detroit looking over at Windsor, right. but it's still a great, a great area down is there. Is there a time uh, in fall? I mean, technically, are we in fall now? Yeah, almost. Yeah. yeah. Um, next almost. Week. Next, next week. week, yeah. Is there a time when it's better to go? Because like we're looking at this video where the colors are so vibrant. Well, and I feel like they're not there yet. Right. So a lot of these destinations, I mean, kind of you have to look at how far north you are. Okay. So mm -hmm. you go to a website like Michigan.org slash fall. It's their fall section of the website. And you can look at kind of the fall color calendars. And they give you really specific oh, weeks good. to go to different areas of these states. Okay. Um, and I would also point out in Michigan, too, the beach towns. You know, all we all yeah. go there in the summer. But during the fall, even in between places like um, Harbor Springs and Saugatuck, you have what they call called the Tunnel of Trees, which is one of those beautiful scenic drives. So the great thing about a lot of these small towns is you can kind of, you know, use those as your kind of base, but then you head out of town and check out all these amazing scenic drives. I could mention all the wineries. Yes. yes. <laughs> wineries, you know, put your bikes on the back of the car, hiking yeah. paths. I mean, the great thing about the fall colors is there's so many different ways you can experience them. You can stay in the car or you can get out of the car and you can sit out on the deck and enjoy some wine or go hiking. So many great ways. Yeah. And, and there's great places to go here in Illinois as well. Yes. So one of my picks in Illinois is called um, the Great River Road. This is actually a national scenic byway. Um, it runs from Wisconsin all the way down through Illinois. It's 350, or no, 550 miles. Um, and it's been named by National Geographic as one of the most scenic drives in the country. And you go through all these small towns like Quincy, Moline, Cairo, probably a lot of places people in Chicago right. haven't ventured to. No. And, you know, it's really this kind of driving, too, if you're used to driving the city and it's, you know, you're like yeah. a little Punching stressed out. Yeah. You get on some of these, like, scenic byways like this, and it's so relaxing. And there's so many great little farmer's markets and so many beautiful little things to stop in and the antique stores in these small towns. So that's a really great one and one that you could do with just an overnight trip. Yeah, I actually went to school in Carbondale, so we did those, that yeah. drive a lot, and it's really not a bad drive at all. No. Not, not yeah. a Brad Drive. You have the river on one side in some mm -hmm. areas, and like we saw in the pictures, you have the beautiful bluffs on the other side. Mm -hmm. So just a beautiful, beautiful way to take in the fall colors. And then if we want to head up north to Wisconsin. Yeah, so Wisconsin, this was is a really close one. You could do this as a day trip. It's the um, the Kettle Moraine Scenic Drive. Um, this one is uh, 115 <laughs> miles. You run, go through five, 50,000 acres, and this runs oh. through Kettle Moraine State, state Forest and State Park. Um, you know, just an hour and a half, two hours outside the city gets you up there. Again, a great way 
hesitate to drive through it or put your bikes on. There's yeah. lots of great, they have a huge trail system. Take a picnic lunch, definitely great for a day trip and an easy way to see the fall colors close to home. I love all, all these were within a five hour drive, yeah. six hour drive yeah. max it seems like yeah. too. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. And Missouri, you usually just think St. Louis, not too much, yeah. but so, there's more. Yeah, so St. Louis, about a five hour drive away. This is where you would start for this and it's called the Katy Trail. Um, I kind of know this, I grew up in Missouri, so we used to just go hop on this, but it is the nation's largest rails to trails path. So it used to be old railroad. Now it is a biking path that runs 225 miles. You can start in St. Charles, Missouri, which is right outside St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And it goes through wine country, goes through farmland. You have all these beautiful bluffs that you're riding by. Just a really, really scenic, beautiful way to take in a different area of the Midwest. That's amazing. And, and not having to deal with the airlines because nice. today United had that whole issue with the ground stop and the computers and stuff like that. Yeah, I think this fall we're going to see a lot more people looking for what are those quick escapes where I don't have the hassle of going to the airport and, you know, dealing with, you know, what we saw so much of this summer. Yeah, and the, the nice thing about these too, it really doesn't matter the age of your kids or your family because you could exactly. do it young or old. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. throw them on a bike. Yeah. Throw them on a bike, hop in the car, right. and you can do a day trip, overnight trip, or a long weekend. So you have a lot of options. Relatively inexpensively yes. too. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's the key. Yeah. And I think too, what I love about a lot of these with the small towns, there's so many different types of lodging options. So you have hotels, but you also have the small bed and breakfast, a lot of the Airbnbs. So um, just a different charming way, I think, to take in this season. Yeah, fantastic. Thank, Thank you me. so much for joining Thanks us. For My pleasure. In. Yeah, I love it, love we it, love it. All need a break too. Yes. <laughs> That's for sure. All right.